Hey y'all, it's Hunter Elliott, RangeHot.com. Hope everybody's doing well. This afternoon, I want to talk to you about a relatively new pistol from Car Arms. This is the CW380. This one here in a tungsten finish on the slide. Actually, a pretty sharp looking little mouse gun, if you will. So, as always, the six round detachable box magazine is out. Slide is locked to the rear. There's nothing in the chamber, so the little gun is safe to talk about. So this is basically your polymer frame, striker fired, 380 auto. In a nutshell, that describes it. But there's a whole lot more to it than just that. The concealed carry market right now is thriving, which I think is great. I believe that anybody that can get a concealed weapon license should and carry your pistol everywhere you legally can and not only carry but train and practice and train and practice to gain a good solid proficiency of whatever defensive handgun you decide to run. The little car 380 here is not a bad choice. So I've had this for a couple months now and we've got about 250 rounds through the gun of various types. Let's go over what I've learned over that time period. Talk about what I liked, what I didn't like. Car is good enough to include this optional pack mire wrap around kind of a rubberized grip and basically it just fits right over the grip area here and is held on by tension. And though it may look a little funky, it adds a tremendous amount of comfort to the gun when holding or shooting. Unfortunately though, they only do include one six round magazine, but they were good enough to put a finger extension on the bottom. I believe any defensive handgun that you carry, you should always carry at least a single spare magazine, not only for the increase in round on your person, but anything can fail. So you know the old saying, Two is one, one is none. But we're getting into a little bit more philosophy and away from the uh, gun review. So let's get back into that, please. I ran a lot of types of defensive ammo through the gun, starting with we run the Hornaday American Gunner, Ruger ARX, the Federal Premium HST, as well as the Remington Ultimate Defense and quite a bit of Hornaday Critical Defense. All those ran really well as far as the range ammo goes. PMC and Defender ball ran great. I run a lot of this Winchester, which is more of a round nose flat point, and that was the only round that I had a little bit of an issue with. Now, I didn't have an issue with it as far as once the gun was running, it ran fine, but when you had a full mag and you went to rack the slide, on nose just kind of hit this steep feed ramp. If you stick with the more of a ball shaped round or any of the jack and hollow points, the gun run like, you know, gas through a funnel. Accuracy wise, well, it's not a bullseye pistol, but you know, we shot some six round offhand groups. You know, it wasn't no problem keeping six rounds inside of a baseball, but it is a little bitty short barrel. So I felt like accuracy is plenty sufficient for what the gun was designed to do. Starting here on the top of the slide, it does have some really nice three dot sights. The rear is adjustable for windage. And uh, actually a little bit nicer than what I would expect to see on a little pocket gun. You know, a lot of times these pocket guns are meant for, you know, a get the hell off me type pistol, which this certainly would serve that role. But incorporating some pretty decent sights to where if you need to use them, they certainly made it easier to get some pretty decent groups out to 25, 30 feet. But they are low profile enough to where it didn't have any problems with the gun snagging. This particular gun having no external safeties. The trigger is a striker fire trigger. It's a long, just under six pound trigger pull, and it's not bad at all, but it's what you would expect from a striker fired handgun. Coming here to the front, the little muzzle here is tapered to make it getting in and out of a holster a little easier. You do have some really nice deep serrations that allows you to rack the slide, which you need because the slide on this little pistol, it is really tough to rack. Now, you know, after about a couple hundred rounds, it got a little easier, but nevertheless, it is, it is a pretty stout little slide to, to rack back and forth to keep that in mind. Uh, we could talk about the field strip. The field strip is basically you just run the slide, you know, here again, gun's clear. You know, run the slide to the rear, find a little takedown notch, and you got a little pin over here, you push down, and it's, pin comes out, and you just kinda ride the slide home, that little recoil spring, and there is just the itty bitty cutest little barrel you've ever seen in your life. And you can see it's kind of a Browning high power style 
the linkless system, which is fine, especially for a little gun like this. If you are in the market for something small to carry on your person, I think this is definitely a good option. Please do not discount the 380 automatic now as a defensive cartridge. I learned that uh, a couple years ago when I started ballistics testing some of these new 380 auto rounds and ballistics gel and bullet technology has come leaps and bounds over the past, you know, even five and six years. All right, so Allison, she just got done shooting about four mags of some ball and defensive ammo through the little uh, car 380. What'd you think? Uh, I like it. Uh, personally, I carry a small 380 that's very similar to this. The trigger pull on what I have is definitely shorter and lighter, but it only took a couple of magazines for me to actually get used to this longer trigger pull. And uh, shoots really good. I really like it. So overall, you like overall, the pistol pretty good? Overall, I feel like this would be really good. Is that something that you would be comfortable carrying if you were going to carry a little 380 like that? I believe so. I really believe so. There you go. So we got a lot of different people shooting the gun. All kind of different friends of mine of all ages and sexes trying to get a cross section of what everybody thinks. It's Allison approved. As always, there will be a chart on rangehot.com that lists all the particular ammunition that we shot as well as a lot more technical specifications of the little gun. If you've got some questions that I didn't go over here in the overview, please jump over to rangehot.com, read that. Any more questions, reach out to me. And I'd be glad to help you any way I can. You can find us on YouTube, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, the whole nine yards. So you can find me if you want to. Anyway, that's about it. So take care of yourselves and each other. And I look forward to seeing y'all at the range.